No one here gets out alive. One often wonders what exactly Jim Morrison meant when he said that. Before moving on from the Laurel Canyon death list, there are a few more celebrity deaths that demand a closer inspection. The first is a truly tragic tale of a rising star in Laurel Canyon who, by the time of her death, had been completely forgotten. The second is a story of a man who had only tangential ties to Laurel Canyon, but whose life and death may provide one of the keys to understanding the canyon scene. The third story is the story of a guy who had no real connections to Laurel Canyon, but whose life arc has been so illuminatingly bizarre that it merits inclusion. Judy Lynn Sill was born in Studio City, California, not far from the northern entrance to Laurel Canyon on October 7th, 1944. Almost a quarter century later, she would be favorably compared to such other Laurel Canyon singer-songwriters as Joni Mitchell, Judy Collins, and Carol King. When she died, though, on November 23rd, 1979, not a single obituary was published to note her passing. Judy's father, Milford, quote, Bud Sill, was reportedly a cameraman for Paramount Studios with numerous Hollywood connections. When Judy was still quite young, however, Bud moved the family to Oakland and opened a bar known as Bud's Bar. He also operated a side business as an importer of rare animals, which required him to spend a considerable amount of time traveling in Central and South America. Such a business, it should be noted, would provide an ideal cover for covert intelligence work. In any event, Bud Sill was dead by 1952, when Judy was just seven or eight years old. Depending on who was telling the story, Bud died either from pneumonia or heart attack. <laughs> 